is the diminished chord and where do you use it? So when you hear the diminished chord, it's usually not just being landed on. It's usually like a passing chord onto another chord. So what I want to show you guys first is how to even play the diminished scale. So say for instance, you're in the key of A or A flat. Let's take A flat. You want to think tritone. Most times you'll hear this chord or this scale being played in that way or in this situation. So you can think of the tritone or the flat five, start on the flat five, the D, and play a whole half, whole half, whole half scale or a tone, semitone, tone, semitone, right? It's very simple to actually understand because there's, the pattern doesn't change. There's such a symmetrical way about this scale. You really can't mess it up. So if you think whole, half, whole, half, whole, half, or you can even think half, whole, half, whole if you start a half step below the D. So start on the D flat, half step, whole step, half step, whole step, half step, whole step, half step. And you can keep going. You, this scale never ends. Uh, you really don't have to end it on the A flat or not the A flat, but on the D uh, because you can keep going with it. And that's the fun thing about this scale. So. You can think about this scale several different ways. Like I said, with the half whole, half whole mindset, with starting a half step below the note, or you can think about it whole half, whole half, with starting on the actual root note of the scale. Another thing I want you guys to understand is you can play this in different variations, just like you can play a different scale or any other scale in these types of patterns or you know skipping thirds or skipping fourths or playing them in fourths or consecutive thirds or consecutive fourths however we, however you want to look at it but you can play it the same way so let's take this scale and skip every note every other note I should say you come up with this cool pattern with this one four one four one four pattern in a diagonal movement that sounds really really cool so that's just one way. There's another way. Well, let me take a break. First, you may be thinking, okay, where do I use this scale? Like, why, why would I even need to know this scale? You may have heard it as a chord in different songs. It happens a lot in gospel. It's not that common in other styles of music, but it happens a lot, a ton in gospel. And we were talking about a way or a different song. It's actually called the blood. I don't know. I'll put the whole name of the song, but I think it's just called the blood. I'm not sure by Andre Crouch, super old school song. Uh, but it has a diminished chord in there and it starts on A flat and it goes to the four and then it goes to the diminished, the diminished chord and then it goes to the five, right? And then to the six, something like that, right? So that chord right there, it's like a passing chord. So from the one to the four to the sharp four, flat five to the five, right? So passing on to the next chord, it doesn't really land right there, but you want to understand what comes in that scale right or what comes in that chord you can play the scale you can play different variations of the scale on top of it if you were to solo over it or if you were just were to try to figure out some ideas to play over that scale so here's another way you can think about that another exercise you can actually play with this scale So it's not necessarily fourths, but it's just playing four notes, but skipping every other string. So it's like a hybrid version of uh, exercise of a scale. So you're playing the version we played before, but just playing one, four, one, four with finger numbers, but you're playing it in a different pattern. So one, two, three, four, starting on that second note, playing four notes on top of that. The same pattern applies. You can play this starting from the other D. So you can keep going up the scale. So it's really, really fun to actually play it that way. Uh, you also have the actual scale way and make sure you're playing this up and down. That is a super challenge to be able to play this up and down as well. But you guys get the idea of how much you can, you know, get out of that one scale. So let's take the same song. You can go from the one to the four. Da, da, da. Same exact scale, I'm using the same notes, but I'm just playing them and placing them completely different. Let's think about another way you can use this scale or this diminished chord, and you would hear this diminished chord in different songs and it's like, it goes by that quick. Um, let's take uh, Blackbird, right? Ugh, right there. 
That's like a type of the of the diminished uh, diminished chord. I can't say diminished. <laughs> a type of a diminished chord uh, that lands right there and it starts on the on the F. It's a different usage, right? It's a passing chord onto the next. Okay, so I'm going from the F to the F sharp if I'm in the key of A. All right, so the F sharp will be the six of A. So I'm going from the minor six, almost like a or a flat six with a diminished chord. Very quick movement. So you can use it the same way. That's pretty hard to play. So you'll hear this once you start listening to different types of music and you'll hear it inserted inside of songs and it, it, it's very subtle and it happens quick. What I want you guys to do is try to listen to different songs. See if you hear that diminished chord anywhere in there or just start listening to all of these different chords. But now I want to you know, show you guys something or under, want you guys to understand something. You might be hearing a minor six chord because it's very, very similar to a diminished chord sounds super super similar to a diminished chord uh and i talk about minor six chord a lot I, there's another video talking about uh, one of the most beautiful scales and talking about one of the chords that go along goes along with it which is a minor six chord but you guys get the idea those are several different ways you can play this exercise back and forth right so you have the actual scale uh here it is I almost forgot. Then you have the scale starting on the half step before it, so you can think half whole. All right, then you have like almost a triad version of the scale. All right, and then you have the exercise uh, playing in consecutive fourths. There it is. It's tough to go, you know, play it on the way back down or descending that. That's a challenge. So you have several different ways you can play this diminished scale. I'm trying to show you exactly where it's used and how to use it. And it's not necessarily just a dominant scale. I shouldn't say dominant because there's a dominant scale. But it's not such a, you know, heavy scale or commonly used scale or chord to play uh, just because it's so scarcely used uh, inside of music. But it's there. It's there. It might be subtle, but it's there. So practice those different ways. Listen out for songs when you hear that scale, that chord, like, hey, Derek, this song right here, is that a, is that a diminished chord? Yeah, send it to me. I love to hear that kind of stuff from you guys. But anyway, if you have any questions, make sure you comment your questions or just your regular comments down below in the comment section, and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I possibly can. Make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.